our names are in your mouth. It's not really the other way around. I heard some things as well about, you know, maybe separating myself from the girls on lunch and things like that. And yeah, I did. I've been built up to be such a farm girl. Yeah. And you'll go to my house and I can tell you there's one chicken. Well, I've met the chicken. Hi guys, it's Jodie here from ODE. And you thought you were only getting one Love Island chat today, but actually you're getting two because I've now pulled Zach and Molly who join me now. Hi guys. Hello. hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for coming in. I know you're absolutely exhausted. So I appreciate you taking the time to come in and chat. How are you? We're really good. We're really good, thank you. I'm excited to be home and just having a bit of reality, normality together outside of the villa now. It's lovely. Yeah, spirits are high. We're good. Things are good. Can't complain. I love it. And I love that you behaved last night. You didn't go out. No, no. Well, I mean, we had a busy day today. Yeah. It was one of them, like, let's actually think straight. I was like, we could do with getting some food and getting to bed. It's a busy time. Absolutely. So how prioritising what... all these amazing things as well. Exactly. Prioritising <laughs> me, let's be honest. That's why you all didn't go out last night. I'm joking. Of course. Of course. <laughs> now, let's talk about the reunion then, because it definitely was spicy. How was it for you guys? I, I thoroughly enjoyed the reunion. Yeah. Yeah. It was weird, because obviously everyone was in one room together. Yeah. And you forget, like, the dynamic of the villa's changed so much, and not everyone has met everybody. So to have everyone that's been on the show in one room was just crazy. Absolutely. And I loved your little chat on the sofa, but then obviously Maya brought Katie up. <laughs> How was <Yeah>. that? <laughs> oh, look, you, you, I was going to do something. It's the final part. Yeah. It's bound season. to happen. Bound to happen. Is it was it part is. of our journey. And yeah. we, we, we've obviously got to talk through everything and address everything so it's just one of the things and obviously it's live tv so things need to kind of be pushed on but then you did get to see <laughs> your piece at the end yeah, you know things worked out nicely yeah. in that scenario so i can't complain again but um yeah man just is what it is really but when you were initially on the sofa all three of you together with maya were you wanting to say something at that point i, f I feel like i definitely was but at the same time look, i'm not going to force my word out yeah at the same so it's just one of those ones, really. The opportunity arose. They gave me the mic. Who am I to turn that down? A lot's been said already. Mm. And uh, I felt like a lot of what has been said hasn't come from my mouth at all. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to reiterate that at the same point. Like, my, I, again, what I said, my mouth, my, our names are in your mouth. It's not really the other way around. I wish you nothing but happiness and good health. Like, I've, I've got no problems with it, really. And how was it for you when on the sofa I was asking you about when obviously Katie left, you said, oh, to Whitney, oh, you've done me a favour when that got brought up. Was that awkward or was it nice for you just to get a chance to clarify that? Uh, yeah, I don't really know how I felt, to be honest. I don't know what I said. It was mm. one of them. It's like, why would you want... It's almost like having an ex walking around your house every day. Yeah, I know what It's going to make you have thoughts and not... It's not a nice feeling, really, is it? So it came from a good place and obviously it was just addressed at the sofa, but... So when you said that, was it more like a relief of you don't need to relive that yeah, moment? It wasn't necessarily would... personally about Katie? No, no. i just rather not think about all that anymore. Yeah. I kind of want to move on. And when she was around, it was hard to move on. So it came from a good place. I didn't, I didn't mean it in a personal way. It's just so interesting that you're such a chilled guy. <laughs> and then Mitch, who was like wanting to say so much, it was yeah. you that managed to get a chance to yeah. say it. Like, uh, the irony. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm a very chilled out guy, but I'm also the sort of person where it's like, I feel like if something does need to be said, I'm not one to not say it. It's just it's how I am. It's how I've been brought up. Yeah. And um, I always like to try and be the bigger person and things. But a lot has been said since leaving the villa. It's very easy to see what I'm tagged in and see what's yeah. been said. <laughs> And look, I'm, again, I'm going to approach it how, however yeah. I feel like I, what's best for me. But look, it's, I've got no bad blood. Yeah. I really appreciated Zach saying that as well because he was just supporting me. He had my back mm. as well. And it's one of them where I really do stay out of drama. I'm really not yeah. interested. All the way through the villa, that was what we were like. And it's the same now. And obviously I've, I've heard, you know, things have been said and it's not been very nice, but it doesn't bother me because I'm not, not going to feed something that doesn't bother me. And for Zach just have my back, it was a nice feeling. Oh, yeah. I've always got your back, babe. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things that there was a rumor that Molly apparently that like, when you come out, you're not really going to chat to everyone or something like that. But are you just someone that just likes to keep yourself to yourself anyway? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I'll chat to everyone. Mm. It was like in the villa, like I just like my own space. Yeah, I always have, um, and yeah, I've no. always been that way. So it's just something I'll never change. But I'll, I'll stay in touch with everybody. I think when you're in the villa, it's very easy for like false narratives and stuff like that to go about. And it's like, you are looking for the next line or scoop or it's really not like that. Everyone's so close in there. Like mm. we are living with each other mm. and you're only seeing a filtered hour of a 24 hour day. And it's like, we're having early mornings, late nights. 
Yeah. So and it is def- really difficult to find your space in there. Yeah. So, like, having time... When, when you're on your, like, lunch breaks and you're having that time, I really wanted to be in the pool, just have a swim on my own and have time to just chill to myself and just think about home. Yeah. Something completely out of the feeling of the villa and everything that's going on because you do need those breaks. And if not, it's going to get too much. Yeah. Yeah, because those days are full on. Yeah. Right? There's, and it's an emotional... Roller coaster. I feel like that word's been thrown out a lot, but it's yeah. like it, it is. It's very full yeah, on. So it's like I heard some things as well about you know maybe separating myself from the girls on lunch and things like that. And yeah, I did, and it's literally from a great place of just time on my own. Yeah, I'm making sure that I'm okay. And if I don't do that, then it, I wouldn't have been in a good place. And that's fair enough. And Scott also said that as well, that times in the villa, <laughs> there was lonely Scott edits, but he was like, actually, I just took myself away because yeah. I just needed a little bit of time to it. think. And obviously, Molly, you were kind of used to like maybe the notifications and social media side of things. Are you helping yeah. Zach now? Because it's a lot to come out to. Yeah, absolutely. We're a team. Yeah. We've, we've got each other. He helps me with so many things. I help him with so many things. It's just one of them. Hand in hand. We're just team. I'm, I'm very lucky to have someone who's, well adapted to this stuff already and um, being able to rely on good information and good, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Advice. Advice. Mm-hmm. Nurturing. Yeah. Perfect word. Absolutely. Like, See? You know what I mean? <laughs> Not just a pretty face. Not just a pretty face. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. I go. love it. Do you know what I loved when you met Molly's family was that your sister right away was like, are you going to do a TikTok with us? Oh. When, we're all waiting for this family TikTok. Zach, when is it happening, guys? Uh. It's going to happen. TV, it's TBC, happen. TBC, TBC. I'm going to get him on it. I mean, my sister won't let him leave the house yeah. if, if he doesn't do it. <laughs> She's going to be obsessed with you, I feel. Absolutely. It's going to be sad. No comment, no comment, no comment, no <laughs> comment. <laughs> You're going to start me doing the dancing's lesson. I know I'm going to see it. Let's talk about the moment you got dumped, Molly. I, when I got the text, I was like, I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm going to have to watch yeah. this maybe pan out for the next few days, be single and just see what happens and maybe just take a step back from everything. And then I, my eyes scanned straight to dumps and bags. <gasps> and I was literally like, I remember reading it and I had like a frog in my throat That's and I just horrible. felt sick. And it, emotions took over me. It was it was crazy. And even when like we had a quick two minutes to speak, it was 10 minutes, get your bags packed and leave. I wanted to say so much, but... 10 when, minutes? Yeah, yeah, 10 minutes Ooh, what? to leave She's the so villa. Quick. So I wanted to speak to Zach, but you came over to the fire pit to me. And I actually don't think I said a word. No, you spoke didn't. to me to say, like, you know, get my number. <laughs> At that point, I didn't. I wanted to say so much, but I had nothing to say other than I've got to leave, you know. Because it was shock as well. Yeah, I'm going home. Ten minutes to get all your stuff. Yeah, bless all the girls, throwing everything into my bag as quick as possible. I'm there just crying. I remember going to the door thinking, I can't actually physically do this. I don't think I looked at you. It Aww. was so difficult, but here we are now. It wasn't a nice feeling, but look, things have panned out how they have, and I... I it's part of the journey. I feel like going through that is what's made us that yeah, bit stronger. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So let's talk about you back, going back in for Casa then. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. Yeah, you made I Love Island so. history, Molly. Yeah. So when you came out, obviously the, the rumours started swirling right away that you were going to go back in. People yeah. seemed to think that it was going to happen. When did you know and how hard was it to keep it a secret? See, I was seeing all these comments and I was just at home. I, I wasn't going back and I'm seeing, get Molly back in the villa, we want her back. Like She's going to be in Casa Amor. And I'm like, oh, I wish. Like, yeah. yeah, that'd be fab. That'd be a good idea. Um, So I got home. I did After Sun on the Sunday. Monday, I did the Love Island podcast. And then Tuesday, I found out I was going back. So then Wednesday, I flew back. So after all of that, to then find out I'm going back, I was like, wow. And this is what I want to do because I've been watching the television. I've been sat with my family, like even upset, angry, happy at the television. Mm. And I just wanted to get back there. Um, I had so many things I just wanted to talk about and just get back on track. Yeah. Um, despite everything, I just wanted to get back to where we were. Um, and to be given that opportunity, it was just amazing. I was like, I want to get back in there right now. Absolutely. Um, Especially when you had the connection that was going well and got cut off so quickly. Yeah. What was it like when you saw Molly for the first time in Casa? <laughs> You know what? I went into Casa extremely excited. Like, it's like, I was like, yeah, Casa, we're here. Oh. And it's, um, the second I saw you, it was just like, uh, I was like, is this really how this is going? No. Like, I couldn't believe it. I wasted no time. It's like, the boys knew immediately what was about to happen. I think all the Casa girls knew immediately what was about to happen. Mm. And I think the first mm. opportunity where we got to sit down, I told her straight up, I was like, look, I know where I'm at. I want this to get back. Obviously, you had to make me do a little bit of graft work, oh, of which, course. Is, which was needed. But um, and you did. 
and you did because by the sounds of it like when people were coming in they was like what like how did it go from there and i was like you did you grafted your way you did so many things to prove it to me no nah, you know it's it's, it's so he did that mm. i'm not the type of person to graft or like do anything like that anyway but it's like i could just sense from our first conversations like knowing you don't drink seeing how focused you are towards your career and all these small things it's like they're the things i look for mm. and it's like it's, it's knowing that you had all of those beforehand and it's just the way you just continue to carry yourself man it's, I'd, I'd have been an idiot not to not to not to graft so, <laughs> so, so you know what i mean no, it's like i'm not just i'm not gonna do that for anybody yeah I, it's like i knew immediately the second i saw you i was like look i, I want this this is what i want mm -hmm. and i think the second i had the opportunity i i never looked back once yeah and it's Oh here God. we are. <laughs> here so. you are. Look at the steam. You guys, I'm not a Cheshire cat. I, mean, I can't hide my giddiness. I love that so much. Now, there was questions around the fact that because Molly came back in at Casa, it was like you didn't actually get to enjoy the full Casa experience. Yeah, but you, you know what it is, though? It's like, what is the Casa experience? Yeah. What, you want me to go in there and act a fool of myself and talk to loads of good... Like, it's like, there's that aspect of things, but then there's an aspect of real. that, And it's like, I've had an opportunity to have a second chance in yeah. a place that doesn't give second chances mm -hmm. with someone I want hopefully in my life for a very very long time so it's like I missed out on nothing and I gained everything people are only saying that because no one's had this experience yeah yeah it's like unless you're me and you know how I felt seeing this girl walk back in you can't tell me how, I, how I've missed out on anything mm -hmm. I've gained yeah. everything do you know what though even it went another way like we were so prepared for Casa knowing that it's potentially going to come up maybe soon and we'd be in the pool and you can see Casa from the pool like All quite right, far away okay. and I we, I was planning I was like I'm going to stand here this time of the day and I'm going to wave at you like <laughs> oh, <laughs> I had it planned but, no I, honestly like I, I can't mm. I can't talk about ifs buts or maybe but I know how I felt before you left and if you stayed and Casa happened Listen, I'd have got my mosquito cream ready. I, 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 would, I would have crashed outside. Like, I would have. Like, I actually just would have. Like, just, I'm upset I couldn't have shown mm. that, but now I get to do it in the real world, which is even stronger. So, oh. yeah, it's all good. It's all what was good. it like for you walking back then with Zach and seeing Katie on her own as well? And then let's we have to talk about the nose scrunch moment. Was it like she said, oh, she's back, and you went, smiled yeah. or something? Like, <laughs> do you know what? I don't remember doing that face to that situation. I think Mitch or someone looked over at me and I remember looking at them and doing the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just say, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, But yeah, I have seen that face go around. Do you know what? I'm someone who really can't help my facial expressions. Same. Like, I, you really know how I feel from my face. <laughs> um, but it was just nice to see everyone come back. But yeah, it, obviously it was, it was strange for, to see, obviously, Katie come back on her own. Um, whether it was coming back for you or not, she, she did say it was just, you know, she didn't find anyone. She came back on her own. Not necessarily full Zach. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I can't really say how she was feeling. Mm. It's just one of those it is what it is situations. Like it's, it's, that's all it is. It is what it is. It's not a nice situation to be in. Mm. But it's like you're in a place where it's like you put yourself first. You want your happiness first. Yeah. This is my happiness. So it's no. like it just, it just is what it is really. I feel like a third wheel, honestly. Like, I'm just going nah, to leave don't, you to it. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. <laughs> well, listen, it was all going well after that. Obviously, things got back on track. And then everything was good until Snog Mary Pie. Oh. Oh, Zachariah. Oh, oh, I know, I know. I Explain know. yourself. I mean, come oh, on. You know, I was, I, you know what, yeah? <laughs> I was the first to go. And it's like, I think where it's like I had an absolute brain fart. And it's like we've played so many challenges mm. beforehand. Like in my head, it's like I didn't know this was the challenge. Everyone's mentality changed. So yeah, it's just like, yeah. oh, I'm going to play the game properly. I want to marry this one. But it's like, I, I, the second I saw like one of my other boys play the way they did, I was like, I was like ah. It makes me wonder if they did it a different way if you'd have not done that. No, Do you know what I, I mean? I swear, mm. I, I was there just thinking, ah, probably yeah. done this wrong. Like it was, um, it was immediately. But it's, um, when we went through, I think it was the grafties. And it's like... I knew you was mad at me before. And when we was talking about it, it's like, I was looking at it from my own perspective of like, babe, I know you're annoyed. I'm sorry. I yeah. didn't do nothing wrong. There was no intent behind what's just happened. Like, there's no hidden message. Yeah. I'm the sort of person where it's like, if there was, there would, it, the message wouldn't be hidden. I'll mm. tell you straight up. Like, it's, mm. If I wanted That's to, like, it just is what it is. But it's like when the grafties came about and I saw, I saw you talking about whole, the whole laughing thing and stuff like that. And I'm 
awful person for awkward laughs. Like yeah, if, same. If, I'm so bad. If I'm in any situation, I'm going to laugh. Yeah. Because it's like, I feel like I have to make light of a dark situation. If someone like, tells me their cat's died, I'll laugh. But not because I'm not happy about the cat dying. But I'm just like, oh, it's a lot. Yeah, what what I mean? do I do? Like, I'm going to have to laugh. Yeah. It, just, it just is what it is. But it's like, I completely saw your perspective mm. after I saw it. Because it's not a nice thing to see. Mm. It's not a nice scenario to be in. But damn, never playing that game again. No, okay. Oh. <laughs> what happened with Whitney at the Snog Mary Pie as well? Because she said like something to you and we were all confused. What was going on there? You know what it was? She 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 came out and pied me, which was funny. Gave me a good pie as well. She got yeah. she got had whiplash on that one. <laughs> but uh yeah, you know her comment caught me off. And it was like for, for me at first, it was like I was a bit like, okay, I didn't really want to respond to it. Mm. But then after hearing everybody's response to it everyone's like what does that mean what's going yeah, on yeah i was so confused so it's yeah. like, so it's like I've st- i kept quiet the whole time and it's like she's i think one thing was said and i just ah shut up like it wasn't mm. even like a it was just like i was just heated in the moment yeah but we had a conversation afterwards and it's like when hearing the way she's explained it and whatnot is like, I, I get your perspective i'm not really one to be disrespectful in any yeah way. so i remember starting the conversation saying, look i really respect you we're good friends mm-hmm. There was something, there was a little something between me, me and Whitney as well at one point. It was just like, look, I, I, I don't want no ill intent between us mm. two. Obviously, you're quite different and everyone has brought this up. But why do you think it works? Is it opposites attract? Yeah, it definitely is. We are similar on so many ways as well, though. Yeah. And I feel like everything that I've experienced through Love Island, it's just got me to this position now where... I found something so different, but that's clearly what I want and what I need. Mm. And I'm my happiest I've ever been. So this whole opposites attract is definitely, definitely a thing. Yeah, and it's like the whole, I feel I feel like the majority of why this is said is just my accent's different, if I'm yeah. honest with you. Like that, that's, that's the main point. And I, I love your accent. We love a strong accent. I love uh, yours as well. Big up the strong accent. Big, big up the strong <laughs> accent. But it's like, I feel like that's where all of it's coming from. And it's like, look, at the end of the day, I feel like we're so similar at the same point. It's like mm-hmm. you're, hard, you're hard working, you're focused. Yeah, and I also think the whole thing about being like, really opposite is that I've been built up to be such a farm girl yeah and you'll go to my house and I can tell you there's one chicken there's it's one like it's chicken. like you're gonna I've, walk I've met the chicken it's like you're gonna walk in and see a million cows and sheep it's really not like that and I feel like you think I'm in wellies and like you know check shirt and all this like my granddad would be it's really not like that um yeah. so I think it's kind of been made out to be more of a worlds apart thing than it actually is mm. yeah, different is good yeah S- similar isn't always the best no and it's like you're, you're used to a certain type i'm in love island so clearly my certain type isn't working yeah i'm single which is where i went wrong at the beginning mm. which is where i am now it's no, so right simple it's like i feel like we're both very real humble down-to-earth people and it's like i can sit and have a genuine conversation with you about mm-hmm. actual things which is the main thing for me it's like you're a good one man so <laughs> Oh, guys, listen, I'm not going to keep you any longer because I know you're absolutely knackered, but thank you for taking the time to come and chat. No, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Love you for having us. <laughs> oh, I love you guys for coming <laughs> in. It's a love-in, guys. It's a love-in.